I had mentioned to you all before in previous videos that I hadn't quite finished the plumbing on my darkroom sink. So today, we're going to do some plumbing. Welcome to the Naked Photographer, where I'll be exposing myself. No. No. No, I won't. Mm -hmm. That's how I better in my head. So the idea here is to get uh, some water all across my sink and multiple hoses. Right now what I've got is a single hose that I just connect a um, my washer to or uh, a hose when I need it and all that sort of stuff. I don't really have the convenience of having the washer connected and a hose at the same time or a hose that even reaches all the way down at the end of the sink. So the idea today is to correct that. Now, there are multiple ways that you can do plumbing. Um, there is, of course, the standard copper pipe. The problem with that is I am no good at soldering, so I'm not going to do that. And copper is kind of pricey. Then there's PEX, the uh, plastic type of piping. That's nice. I've looked at that before, but it either needs very expensive push-on connectors or very expensive crimp-on connectors. Actually, though, the connectors aren't that expensive, is the pliers are, quite frankly, a little too pricey for me. So what I'm going to be doing is something that is in my skill set, and that is PVC pipe. So I'm using half-inch PVC pipe, and I can do uh, just simple uh, cement contact. So I can do that fairly well. I've done that quite a bit uh, in other projects. So that's what I'm going to do today. So let me show you how I'm gonna have this laid out and then we'll start putting things together. First step, I wanna make sure I get everything laid out to, uh, to make sure I've got all the bits and pieces that I'm going to need. So of course I've got the half inch pipe here. I'm going to need a T connector and then a adapter from half inch pipe to a thread. And to that, I will have this piece here, which is a compression fit, because that's how I've got incoming water, because this is, um, without this part, this is a compression fit. So this will actually fit into here onto the hose. So let's make sure I've got that together so that I don't lose that piece. Then I'm going to need another T-connector, not far from there, uh, for the garden hose connector that I use my um, Kodak tray siphon. Got that down here. So the tray siphon fits over the garden hose. And I use this near the print washer. This is the print washer end. So to connect these, I'm going to have it hang over the... Um, over the edge of the backsplash. So I've got a 90 degree connector and then I'll use another one of these. But to turn the water off and on, I'm going to use a valve. So that'll thread into here. This will thread into here. And then the um, Kodak piece will go over that. <clears throat> so I'll use that together. Then the very end to hang over the edge of the washer or the uh, backsplash will go to the print washer. <clears throat> so I'll have a valve here on the very end. That will go to a small piece of pipe. So I'll have just another piece of pipe which goes to this thing. And this fits into here, uh, like this because this is actually changing it from half inch to three quarter inch. So this is a garden hose connector and it will connect to, uh, you can't see it, off, it's off too far off camera. Um, the garden hose connector for the uh, vertical print washer. So that will connect there and I can turn that off and on. So from there, I will then need uh, two pieces, uh, another um, divider another piece to hang over, another thread, another valve, 
And then I've got this thing here, which reduces from half inch to three eighths thread. So all of these threaded pieces will use um, Teflon thread tape. And then I've got this piece, which is a 3 8 inch thread to a quarter inch barb. And that barb will connect to my latex hose um, that I've got more of laying around here somewhere. So I've got that. And then I should have enough to make a second one. So I have two of those spaced down through the sinks. And then to cap off the end of the pipe, I've got just a pipe cap. And should I want to expand the opposite end of the plumbing, I'll just lop that off and then um, glue on extra pieces. So now that I've got, I know I have all the pieces here for what I need, I can go ahead and start marking things and gluing them. To cut, you can use a saw. I've got this ratcheting clamp. You just um, clamp it down and it'll cut pieces off. So in fact, this one's already cut. So I already know I, I need to connect a piece here and here. So I can get a little bit. So now I know that'll fit in there. So this is easier than a saw um, and cleaner, <clears throat> but it's not necessary. Saw will work fine. All right, so now I'm just going to measure my lengths and then uh, start cutting pieces together. And then I'm gonna glue it. So there's all kinds of different glues. I'm using this particular one simply because it's PVC and cement, or not PVC, um, primer and cement in one, and it dries clear because uh, I don't want to have purple streaks. However, I will have to use the standard purple primer and general purpose cement for um, this connection because this is great for PVC. This is for uh, PVC and CPVC which is uh, this stuff here. So <clears throat> that's for that, those connections. And then I've got some Teflon tape for the threads, uh, which I'll actually do that first and get all my threaded stuff together. Then I'll start doing PVC. So let me find my thread tape. Yep, oh, easier to find than I thought. So this stuff, Pretty simple. Okay, cue the music montage.
just like that, I now have water in my sink. So the original uh, line that I've been using, it's rusted out a little bit. I am going to have to replace that hose because uh, it's leaking where it's rusted, but that's no big deal. That's a quick, easy part as soon as the store opens tomorrow. Everything else though does work really, really well. There are no leaks. I've got extra water lines for my tray areas down the sink. I've got my permanent print wash um, connection. I've got my secondary hose or print wash connection. And that's it. So as you saw where the water panel is under that shelf is a little bit of a mess. That's all right. I'm actually removing this shelf, which is why it's empty now, in order to move the panel up on the wall where my original uh, plan was when I built the dark room. So that'll clear that up and make it a little bit easier and more functional. So I'll do that just another day. <clears throat> in the meantime, though, I now have all the running water that I wanted all the way down the sink, uh, making it just a little bit more convenient to use and to clean up. I do recommend the PVC pipe. It is both cheaper and easier to use than either PEX or copper. So if your skill level is not quite up there like a professional plumber, those will work just fine. Uh, in the meantime, if you have questions, you can always contact me and I'm, I'll help you as best as I can uh, setting up your own darkroom. But thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like to help support this channel, I have two links down in the description on how you can do that. Thank you very much.